consistent and of a very high standard. Nigel is a Cub Scout leader, but more recently he has held the role of project manager and fundraiser for a new Scout Hall. In December 2011, an arson attack completely destroyed, destroyed the 7th Harlow Scout Hut in Manahatch Close. Nigel's background in construction quickly proved to be invaluable, and his advice and guidance to the group has been second to none. Faced with a challenge, rather than give up, Nigel set about leading a fundraising mission to find the £150,000 required for a new building. He persuaded a local architect to design a purpose-built building. He worked hard on site clearance, planning permission and leases, and at the same time keeping three sections of scouts running in different locations. Manor Hall was opened on Sunday the 17th of May, and Nigel has spoken of his commitment to see it used by the community as well as scouting groups. In his regular role as a Cub Scout leader, Nigel organises creative and adventurous weekly programmes along with camps. He is the prime motivator within his group of beavers, cubs and scouts. In addition, Nigel has organised many of the Christmas carol concerts and is always available to lead the district campfire sing-songs, where his personality and humour is an added bonus. Nigel has also demonstrated his cooking ability, helping out at many county camps with the catering team. This award is given in recognition of Nigel's distinguished service and community effort. Civic Award goes to Rebecca Moran. Rebecca is a Beaver Scout leader in Harlem and has demonstrated the true meaning of scouting, the reputation of scouting and the excellent training their leaders receive. Rebecca is 30 years old and works in Bishop Stortford and on the 27th of January 2015 she was expecting a normal day at the office, but things took a drastic change. A member of staff found a colleague slumped over his desk. Rebecca was alerted. They both returned to the office where they were able to get their colleague to the floor. Another colleague called the emergency services. Rebecca started to do chest compressions for 40 minutes and her colleague then took over while Rebecca directed the response team and ambulance to the incident and the paramedics then took over. This award is given in recognition of Rebecca's sterling work for the needs of others. There is a need to help connect community with its local services and the relevant authorities. He was a founding member of the Neighbourhood Action Panel in Churchgate Street and also co-founded the Churchgate Street Residents Association which has over 84 paid up members. Paul was its first chairman. Paul has been responsible for setting up an excellent community network on the internet to facilitate communication among Harlow's residents so that issues and concerns can be discussed quickly. Paul is also a member of the Harlow Civic Society and is now its secretary. Paul works diligently for Harlow, facilitating and organising to a high standard. He gives his time working for everybody. He helps to build communities and he gets things done. The award goes to Kerry Eastman and 
Councillor Edmund Ste Edna Stevens is going to read the citation. Thank you, Chair. Kerry is the exceptional manager of Streets to Homes, Harlow's homeless charity. During her five years in the post, the charity has developed professionally in providing care and support for some of the most vulnerable in our society, whilst retaining a human approach in helping clients. As well as leading and guiding the small number of equally exceptional paid staff, Kerry has organised and motivated an ever-changing group of volunteers, some of whom are former clients wanting to put something back to the organisation that helped them. The standing of Streets to Homes has grown immeasurably under her leadership in dealing with the statutory sector, in fundraising and in partnership with Harlow Council. An inveterate networker, Kerry is the chair of the Harlow Homeless Prevention Partnership. Kerry has led a proactive stance to the changing demands on the service as it moves into more homeless prevention and extending into the severe weather provision. Establishing confidence with private sector landlords has led to fewer evictions. Enabling families to talk to each other has led to fewer young people leaving home. The severe weather provision, whereby shelter is provided to all rough places when the temperature drops below freezing for three consecutive nights, is particularly challenging, but particularly rewarding. Kerry has thrown herself into the challenge of running an almost 24-hour service, but it enables closer relationships with some hard-to-reach clients, leading to positive outcomes in terms of treatment and accommodation. In comparison with almost every other town, the performance of streets to homes under Kerry's leadership is second to none. Harlow is proud of the determined way she has raised streets to homes and Harlow as a centre of excellence. Nowhere else seems to provide that mixture of holistic support and success in getting people off the streets and into homes.